Hi guys, so today um, I'm going to show you how this is like, sorry I'm not my squint, I do have a really bad squint. Today um, I'm going to show you how you can achieve this look. This is just my like school routine that I do every day. But yeah, I um, hope you enjoy. So um, that's just the music I was listening to, it was Twilight Cover Drive. Twilight by Cover Drive. And I'm singing, oh my god. So um, the first thing I do, oh I just put myself in my eye, um, the first thing I do is put this band thing on that's from the body shop, I think it's supposed to be for like when you wash your face but um, I just use it because it's perfect to keep my hair back when I'm doing my makeup, like your baby hairs and loose parts of hairs, so you can get your foundation in properly. <clears throat> oh my god I'm really weird. So then the foundation I always use is the Hello Flawless one by Hello Flawless Oxygen Wild well One by Benefit and it's in the colour I'm Cure For Sure Ivory as it casually falls off my hand. And the makeup foundation brush I use is the Benefit foundation brush. <clears throat> and then also I use another one to blend in properly because the Benefit one doesn't blend in that properly. I just use another one to like make sure it's blended in properly, which is the e.l.f. Just an e.l.f. basic and um, the e.l.f. studio foundation brush. <sighs> oh, I'm tired. So yeah, um. Mm, this is taking ages. But um, I know it takes a while, but you just really kind of want to blend the foundation in well. So you kind of got a full coverage throughout the day. Because when you're, because when I'm at school, I don't really want my foundation coming off, and then you see all the horrible bits you use foundation to cover. And I just kind of leave my eyelids. That's the brush I use, by the way. start singing soon by the way. So that's the health brush I am using. It's pretty basic, you can just get it from Elf obviously, the studio range. Or also the other one I use sometimes is the Elf stipple brush. But um, I didn't use that that time. I'm singing again. And I keep poking, and I can, my eyes are really, my eyes were really sore when I filmed this video. So that next the concealer I use, you couldn't really see which one it is, but it's the Collection 2000 concealer. And the Collection 2000 concealer, the ultimate wear one, and it's in the shade, it's in the shade, um, One Fair. Yeah, I never normally draw a love heart with concealer. I don't have a clue why I did. I just felt like it. Awkward moment if that became the thumbnail. So then I just use my Elf concealer blush. <laughs> can't speak of my Elf concealer brush to just blend in a bit, and then I use my fingers just to blend in a bit more. Because sometimes um, concealer brushes don't blend in that well, so you don't use your fingers as well. Um, for concealer under your eyes, I use your ring finger. I don't think I did in this video. I use my finger, middle finger, and like all my other fingers. What am I doing? I was doing any mini mini more catch take or by the toe if it squeals I pet you. And their benefit blushes. So I picked the Sure Abby, Sure Abby. The Benefit Dandelion blush. I really like that one. It gives a nice coverage. 
I just use the little brush that came with it because it's easier. If you see me talking in this video, like, without, through the voiceover, it's because I was singing along to songs. Because that's what not us normal people do. And then I use my Bare Minerals pressed powder. It's the Touch Up Veil. Um, it's in the colour Translucent. I really like it because it, um, it helps your foundation, and your foundation and blush stay on. And I just use a little, um, what are they called, puff things that came with it. Just apply it because I think you get more powder actually on the puff things than you do on brushes. So I'm just rubbing it everywhere. All in my face though. Yeah, I spilled foundation on my top. Sad face. Typical Abby. <clears throat> this voiceover is long. I never normally have to take this long in the morning to do my school makeup. I'm normally just like, woo, quickly Abby. You've got like two minutes before you leave the house. And that's when I'm only on like my eyeliner. So next I'm going to use my NYX eyeshadow base and that's in the colour. I didn't show you the colour but it's in the colour skin tone. It's a really nice colour, I really like it. And it gives your eyelids a touch of colour before you actually put the eyeshadow on. Which makes it go on perfectly. And then I'm going to apply I'm singing again. Oh my gosh. Um and then you want to apply well, I'm gonna use my sleek storm palette and this is my all-time favourite colour I always use. Um it's the that nice like pink glittery shimmery one. I either use that or one of my fashionista ones or my MAC Hashtag really. That'll be coming up in a minute though. Yeah, it wouldn't shut because there was a brush stuck in it. Come on, clever. Then I use my MAC um, single eyeshadow in the colour Brulee just to go under my brow bone to give it a touch of colour. And I'm singing again. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Uh. See, as you can see, I'm just using an elf brush again to just apply it under the brow bone just for a splash of colour. Because it makes your eyes more, um, <clears throat> gives your eyes a pop of colour. Even though I've already got the bright eyeshadow, it just gives it a bigger pop of colour, which is amazing. Then I'm just using the eyeliner I got from a set in Debenhams for, Christ for my cousin for Christmas. Just to touch up on my eyeliner because it wouldn't actually come off before I filmed this video. I don't put it through like the whole of my eye. I just kind of like, as you can see, put it that amount and then just put mascara on it. Eyeliner really stings if you, when you haven't worn it in a while. Yeah, I'm weird. I'm really sorry, guys. Yeah, um, you might be, you maybe be able to pick up on this video my squint. It's not too obvious. <laughs> sorry, I had to laugh in my own joke how pathetic then I'm using the Maybelline the Rocket Volume Mascara it's just in the shade black I think I don't think it's got any specific shade yeah it's just in the shade black it's got no specific colour and I really like this mascara because it gives your as it says, it gives your eyes loads of volume. I just put my spectacles back on so I can actually finish the spiny see. And I just use the e.l.f. wet thingy. Uh, 
um, for your eyelash and eyebrows, but I only use it for my eyebrows to flatten them out a bit because they look a bit weird. I need to get them plucked, but uh, I'm too scared because I'll probably end up regretting it, so there's no point. Why am I shining a light in my face? Mm, I should edit this out, but I can't be bothered. Um, you see the light reflection from my stingy lights, my makeup mirror lights. I'm just trying to move it, but it made it worse, in my opinion. I keep dropping this mascara. Um, so yeah, I just apply that to my eyebrows to flatten them down a bit so they're not too sticky up, which gets rather annoying when you're at school. I'm singing Moon 5 then, or no I'm not, it's, oh I don't know which song I was singing then. And then just fixing my eyes because I realised there's a bit of mascara underneath them. And I'm trying to think what to put on my lovely face next. Because I'm so clever. Not. Hee 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 hee. Yeah, my eyes really annoy me. Not my fault, I need an operation on my eyes when I was four years old. <clears throat> yeah, why did I just say that? Oh, that's really awkward. Because that has nothing to do with when I'm 13 and just now filming a makeup video. Anyway, um, so the next product I'm going to use is some Vaseline and I use no, I'm going to use a smudge, uh, the e.l.f. smudge eyeliner brush because it kind of gets rid of the, from my point of view, sorry if you can't really see what I'm doing, it's not my fault, I'm not complete fast and doesn't film properly. So I'm just touching up on some powder under my eyes to kind of cover the eyeliner that went dodgy or mascara that went dodgy, whichever one it was. Then I'm just applying the aloe vera Vaseline because it makes your eyes less chapped. Pretty obvious if I say so. And then I use some Karex hand sanitizer before because um, I've been touching other makeup and it'd be a bit weird touching then touching your lips. I normally do the same with my eyes but I obviously forgot to then. Especially because you're using your finger to put the uh, Vaseline in. Oh my, oh um, I do that. <laughs> oh my god. So you just apply the Vaseline all over your gorgeous lips. By the way, excuse my horrible nails. I have long nails but um, they're pretty horrible because I've got no nail polish on them just now. Then next I'm using the Revlon Lip Butter in the shade 80, Strawberry Shortcake or Cheesecake. I think it's Shortcake. Oh. Um, it's in the shade... Yeah, Shortcake. And I'm singing again. And then on top of that I put the e.l.f. Minty Lip Gloss in the colour Miami on top. In the shade Miami. I just think it gives it a nice, not texture, it just gives it a nice volume. It gives it a nice high volume. Sorry, I'm reading off a hairspray tin. Um, yeah, and I really like it because I really like the taste of it because it's really mint. -y. And then I use the e.l.f. Um, makeup setting spray. I don't actually have much of this left. I need to get some more, but yeah. So then you just kind of want that to dry and yeah, thank you for watching this video, bye!